Hello everyone. My name is Stefan Janke and I work for the European University Foundation. In cooperation with the European Commission, the European University Foundation has developed the Erasmus Plus app for students, the Erasmus dashboard for universities and the online learning agreement for both universities and students that is integrated in both the Erasmus Plus app and the dashboard. Today we would like to show you how these three tools interact, but also how these three tools fit into the bigger picture of digitizing Erasmus Plus administration. So we will also talk briefly about what Erasmus Without Paper is and how it fits in with these projects. Let's start with the Erasmus Plus app for students. The Erasmus Plus app was launched last July, so July 2017, by the European Commissioner. It was launched in the framework of the 30-year anniversary of the Erasmus program. Since its launch, it has been downloaded more than 30,000 times. So the Erasmus Plus app for students is very successful already. I want to show you how this app works. So let's have a look together. So let's dive right into it. In the following, I'm going to demonstrate to you the Erasmus Plus app, which you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, and the Erasmus dashboard for you, the universities and higher education institutions, which you can see on the right-hand side. As you can see from the main menu of the Erasmus Plus app, there's different sections, each representing a particular functionality of the app. I will now show you the different functionalities of the Erasmus app in a little more detail. Let's start with a step-by-step. -step. This section guides the students through the whole process from beginning to the end of their mobility. The next section is the top tips, which gives the student an overview of some generic tips as well as city-specific tips that have been crowdsourced together with the help of the Erasmus Student Network. The section News and Events is connected directly to the Erasmus Plus Facebook page and it also gives the student an overview of events that are close by to where the student currently is. The Erasmus Plus app also integrates the online learning agreement. In this particular example you can see that the student has already signed the agreement but is still waiting for a confirmation by their sending institution from the Netherlands and their receiving institution from Latvia. Furthermore, the app allows students to get a direct connection with the online linguistic support, which as you might know is accessible to all students that have been chosen to go on an Erasmus Plus mobility. The last section I would like to show you today is the general Erasmus Plus information, which gives the students some generic information about the Erasmus Plus program, their rights, but also their obligations. At the heart of the app is a checklist that is meant to help the student navigate through the various steps of going abroad. So that means before, during and after the mobility. Let us now have a look at a concrete milestone. In this example we choose the information session. As you can see there is some generic information, there is an information about the important dates and also contacts. Furthermore, the student can decide whether they would like to be notified if there is a new development in this particular milestone. Let's have a look at the dashboard. On the left hand side you can see there are sections both for outgoing and incoming students. Depending on whether you want to edit milestones of your outgoing and incoming students, you have different options here. Let's look at the information sessions, which we have just seen in the Erasmus Plus app. You have the deadlines and the contacts and you have the current important date already in the app. If now we want to create another important date, we simply add the information, in this case more informal gatherings, and a description. So here we write join us in Aula 2 at 6 p.m. and we edit the date, let's take the 8th of March. And we simply add this event 
to the important dates. It is now added, added in the dashboard and you can see that it also appears on the fly to the student in the Erasmus Plus app on the left hand side. You can also add custom descriptions to, for example, this information session milestone, which will also be shown directly in the app to the students. Now, how do you get access to this dashboard? We have created a very sophisticated multi-user access system, which you can see right here. You see that there is different roles and different individuals in the account management system. We will now add another role into this account management system, which we call faculty coordinator. This faculty coordinator will have different powers. So for example, managing students, uploading students and editing this step-by-step -step information. You can now see that there's different individuals with different roles in the system. What is important for you to know is that as long as you have an Erasmus Charter for higher education institutions, you can create a dashboard institutional account and this institutional account will be your super user that can create additional accounts for all staff members that work with Erasmus Plus to have access to the Erasmus dashboard. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the most important documents for Erasmus Plus students is the learning agreement. And we have implemented the process of managing learning agreements seamlessly into the Erasmus dashboard. For this reason, we are now creating an upload of students, which will create pre-filled learning agreements in the online learning agreement platform. It is very simple. You can import information by simply copy-pasting them from, for example, a Google spreadsheet or an Excel file. And you go back into the dashboard and you simply copy paste all this information into the dashboard. As you can see, everything we copy pasted is automatically filled in. And what we will do now is that we will select multiple students and we will add some more information to be added to the pre-filled learning agreements. So all our students are going to study the ISAC 0223 philosophy and we decide who is the home contact and the home responsible. If now we upload all this information, the pre-filled learning agreements will automatically be generated. Let's have a look how this works. The student that you entered the information about will receive an email notification. In this email notification, the student will be asked to prepare their pre-filled learning agreement and simply be redirected to the online learning agreement platform. Let us now have a look at the online learning agreement platform from the student's perspective. As you can see, the learning agreement is already pre-filled with all the information that you uploaded through the dashboard. Students simply fill in all the missing information, such as the course information, and can then proceed to signing the agreement. They can simply sign the agreement online and submit the signed learning agreement to you. Once signed by the students, the information of the online learning agreement will automatically be updated in your dashboard. Let's have a look on how this looks like in practice. In the dashboard, you have a functionality called student list, where you can see a list of all the students. Now, if we select all the students that have already signed the learning agreement, we see that six of them already did. Let's look into what it looks like for a particular student. We will download the online learning agreement as a PDF file. You will see that the PDF is looking exactly the way that the original learning agreement looks like and we see in the bottom the signature of the student. This template coheres with the template of the European Commission. So what else can we do? Let's look at another student. Obviously, if we don't like the learning agreement, we can decline it. So we can give a reason. In this case, we write, please select more courses because we don't like that there's only 10 ECTS. 
and we confirm the decline. The student will be notified and will have to redo the learning agreement. If we now go into a different learning agreement, here we have 33 ECTS as you can see, we can sign the learning agreement and thus agree with the learning agreement by the student. What will happen now is that the receiving institution will, re will receive the information and see in their dashboard that it has been signed both by the student and you as a sending institution. The last functionality I would like to show you today is on how to notify your students. You have the possibility to send emails to one or multiple students. So let's take the example here. We want to inform the student about a new deadline and we want to inform the student that they can fill, that they need to fill their learning agreement. We have the possibility to add a push notification, which means that as soon as you send the information, the student will get a push notification on the phone through the Erasmus Plus app. So let's recap. We have the Erasmus Plus app for students, which brings Erasmus processes in information directly into the pocket of the students. We have the Erasmus dashboard for you, the higher education institutions, which allows you to manage the whole mobility process online. And you have the online learning agreement for both students and for you as higher education institutions that allows the creation and completion of learning agreements online. All these tools are interconnected so that Erasmus Plus administration becomes simpler, faster and more efficient for both you and the students. I hope this gave you a good overview of the different initiatives and the different projects that are currently trying to bring the Erasmus Plus administration into a digital age. Now, I do understand that it is confusing that there are so many projects and so many initiatives, but I can promise to you that together with the European Commission, we are working very hard on streamlining all of these and bringing them all together so that by 2021, when the new Erasmus program starts, everything will be tested and you will have easy access to a digital Erasmus Plus administration. Now, as I mentioned a few moments ago, we will have multiple conferences throughout 2018 that will allow you to get a deeper insight into all of these tools and also to understand a little bit better how they work together and see more concretely the details of these different projects. I hope to see you in one of these conferences or maybe in a future webinar of the European University Foundation. If you would like to stay updated, please go to our website and sign up for our newsletter. Take care.